Have you ever been at a gas station or some store and noticed that certain sunglasses boast a little tag that highlights the fact that they're polarized? It seems like a bit of a marketing gimmick because you can look at a normal pair of sunglasses and see that, just like their polarized equivalent, they do what sunglasses are supposed to do and darken whatever you're looking at. So what exactly makes polarized sunglasses so special? To understand that, we first need to understand the underlying principles of light itself. Light is a particle known as a photon. As particles approach the speed of light, as denoted by the constant c, which is equal to 299,792,458 meters per second, the particle begins to act more like a wave. This is known as wave-particle duality. This wave is just like the waves that we can observe in the water, and has many of the same properties, such as the amplitude, frequency, and wavelength. Light always travels at the speed of light, hence the name, and thus can always be observed as a wave. This wave is transverse, and is composed of two perpendicular waves, one that is magnetic and one that is electric. This is where the electromagnetic spectrum got its name. To save us a little bit of confusion and to make the following explanations easier, we're just going to focus on the electric field of light. Light that comes from almost any source, whether that source is the sun or a lamp on your desk, it is unpolarized, and the electric wave of the light will flow in any number of directions. This means that the electric field can be rotated any amount adjacent to the direction of the travel of the light and produce multiple waves traveling on multiple planes. There are a couple ways to polarize light, but most notably light can be polarized by reflecting it or by passing it through a polarizing filter. When light is reflected, it becomes polarized parallel to the surface it was reflected off of. Water is a great example of this as it is fairly reflective and is almost always at an angle to reflect the sun. If we look at this lake, you will see that it has a reflection. This reflection is mostly composed of horizontally polarized light. Polarization can also occur when light that lays on multiple planes passes through a polarization filter. A polarization filter is a series of microscopic slits in a surface made by long-chain organic molecules that allow light to pass through. The slits reduce the intensity of the light passing through by cutting all planes of the light not aligned with the polarizing filter out. The filter can be easier understood as a picket fence. Imagine this stick is the polarity of the electric field of the light, and imagine this fence as the filter. The stick can easily pass through the fence if it is lined up with the pickets. However, if I turn it any other direction, it won't go through. If you were to align two picket fences in series but rotated them 90 degrees from each other, no light would be able to pass through. This is because the second fence would block out the polarity of the light produced by the first. This is the variable ND filter that I use on my camera. It has two polaroid filters in it, one of which can be turned. When you turn this filter, it's just like turning one of the picket fences, and the amount of light let into the camera will reduce until no light is let in. So this takes us back to those polarized sunglasses. In the example of the water, the light in the reflection is horizontally polarized. So if I line up a polarizing filter that only allows vertical light to pass through, the reflection from the lake will be cut out. So ultimately what this means is that the polarizing sunglasses are worth that little extra bit of money if you plan on spending any amount of time near the water.